Okay, folks, Jim here. Check it out. We're done with that there. Well, not done. There's some more tuning up and all. You can see it's uh, doing its thing real nice. It's got temperature in the 500 area there at the top. Anyway, but now what we're doing is we're back to the uh, wood stove, the barrel type of wood stove. I'm going to put the legs on here in a little bit. Uh, and this one here is for the camp stove kit, of course. You know, camp stove kit, right? Nobody's ever going to put this in here. United States Stove Company, established 1869. So, um, last time I did uh, bring this here for you. What I did was uh, got this guy going for us. Mounted, uh, you know. I, what I did was I, I drew around the darn thing, and then uh, measured inside, you know, whatever about this much here and all like that. Then uh, my door doesn't open. I don't, oh, okay, I see why. Yeah, I forgot I gave it a whack the other day, and uh, that little thing moved over. So anyway, so you know, well. I didn't trace around the outside, I guess, kind of I measured in. Uh, that was a big plan. What is it? Trace the inside of the door. Um, got it going. It's nice. So far, the quality is, you know, reasonably good, right? Um, this thing here, I'm going to have to give him a bend out more, though. There we go. Well, a little more than that. All right. Ah, there you go. So, anyway, um, the little vent thing here was okay. It had a filled screw that does not fit the hole. Um, Anyway, so what I did is I kind of crunched the threads a bit uh, on that there, and then I got him in there. I'm going to leave this in here for a clean out so you can take, I have a little hole. <laughs> I know that's terrible. But I have one over there, I'm going to attach it to a metal pipe so that in case you get in there with some you know, hot stuff, right? And uh, this could actually be extra air too, but I think maybe I'll just use this little guy as extra air. If, if you need it, you know. But anyway, well, you know what, that's... Okay, yeah, the hole won't fit in there, but that's all right. You'll just, uh, you know, pull it out from there. You take the hole in. I'm going to round it a little bit, I think. Ah, maybe not. Just the edges so I don't pull on my bricks or whatever I have. Um, I'm going to, you know, pull it out this way here. Just get back in there, pull it out, and have it fall it into a bucket or tray or something like that anyway. So, on the back part of this here is, you know, I drill the holes, of course, to hold it in. And then, um... And also, yeah, also, here, also, on this part here in the cast part of the holes, here, on the little slidey things, they weren't as good as they could have been. I mean, sure, they would have worked, but I took a little um, die grinder and ground them out a bit so that, you know, at least the shape they're supposed to, because there's a little bit more flashy uh, in the way there. So, uh, and then see here too, a little flashing, and then also some of the barrel was in the way at each place. So, you know, got it. Here's that little screw, the aforementioned screw. Doesn't fit, has a washer in there. It's really loose inside the thread. So I crunched the threads a bit like this, so now it's in there stiff, which I'm hoping will keep it there. And then after a little while, it's going to have a bunch of yuck in there to hold it. If not, I'll figure out something else. So anyway, um, and this thing here, oh, this is gross. It had some sort of a paprika for a, a, a local plant in town here. Anyway, um, the bowl, I drilled the holes all the way around. I just copied the outside of the thing. Drilled them all through, put them all in. So they're in. I have a mustache here, get me. So they're in right now, anyway. So that shouldn't cause us any fuss. Put this over here. It's going to fall down because it, 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 it doesn't work with this thing. It falls down. Except right there, I guess. Uh, okay, so right now is the time when uh, I'm locating the legs. Okay, well first, I kind of want, I want them at the bottom of the seam, for aesthetics maybe, but if it would open up, then it's going to open up at the bottom, it'll suck the draft in there. Uh, these are pretty okay, they look good, they don't quite fit a barrel exactly, but uh, we're darn close, you know. You'd think that they would go get a barrel and make their design exactly, but I guess you'd think a lot of stuff, right? 
So on this one here though, when I put the bolts in because they stick out so far, I think I'm going to stick them the other way around. Ooh, how am I going to get in there? Okay, well, I don't know how I'm going to get in there. We'll worry about that later. Um, I wonder how the other four holes, probably through that little door open. That would be hard to get in that door opening like that. I have a, my door has a ring that goes around it like that. And I did that for a couple of reasons. Because I want to put a baffle in here. I, I got this barrel special. I want to put a baffle in here. So anyway, all right, so I'm just going to locate this, you know, kind of about and let it rest on that little ribby thing right there and hold on to it. And I'm just going to take a scribe and, uh, you know, scribe some little circles in there. And it's really unfriendly to try to get to those ones, but that's all right. We'll get them. I'll just kind of get them in the general area. Let's see if it works. Ah, uh, ooh, yep, it did. Right there's that one. Here's the other one. Let's do that a little bit. All right, so circle this guy a little bit more too. I'm just using an awl for sketching on metal. If you don't know, if you do know, then that's just information, I guess. I don't know. All right, so what we're gonna do? Involving you folks, of course, as I do, is I have a drill and drill bit. Oh, there you go. Here it is. And, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and drill right in here. See, hopefully it'll do whatever we want it to do. What I wanted it, yeah, I have it at two. My drill bit's bent a little bit. Who knows how that happened? It's also, not as sharp as it could be. I really don't like that, so I'm going to switch it back up to two and wobble around here and see what happens. So anyway, that's where I'm at, and then I'll come back. I'm done with this business here, uh, and I'll show you how I'm going to do the back ones. Because you know, how would you know if they're going to get there, right? Well, what I'm going to do is get these guys attached, right? And then I'll put it down, and let's see. We'll go down on this thingy here. Let's see. Okay, so you keep it all up here where everything is nice, and um, well, maybe not. I need the barrel too long. Okay. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll put it on the front one that we're doing. We'll put the front ones on and then I'll lift up the back and get these in there, you know, so they're, you know, like this here, so like this, or that, you know, there, right? And then what I'll do is uh, mark them and then put it back up here and drill it. And then they should be, you know, equal with each other, I think. <laughs> That's the plan. So, U.S. Stove Company, Barrel Stove, uh, unboxing and... Uh, See what kind of, kind of quality we have there. That's all. So, anyway, thanks a lot. Like, subscribe. Tell me what you do like or don't like. I'll listen. Actually, I won't listen. I'll read it. <laughs> thanks a lot. Bye now.